Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm over here because it's time to go flip-flop up through here and you know this door and stuff so yeah 260 notes we made that by a landslide <laughs> that's the power of 100 percenting all right so a new area we are in a sort of kind of temple type place only you know it's like a set like the other stuff <laughs> There's an Ecom Bokum right behind here, so don't forget about that. Um, I'm gonna show you over here. Um, this this sand right here, it's sort of like the... Yeah! That sort of stuff. Yeah, it's sort of like piranha water. <laughs> but it's just basically really hot sand or something. I don't know what the heck it is, but anyway. I'm gonna break that open, and look at that. Oh, we have a way to cross that sand, but there's... Really, nothing we can use that for right now. I just keep that in mind for the future. I'm gonna keep going around. Uh, that's where we came up through, I think. Uh, yeah, that was okay. And then over here, this is the thing that I'm really here for more than anything. Hey, new color! It only has two health though, so that uh, that takes care of it pretty quick. <laughs> Oh, it's on the move! It's on the move! Run after it quickly! Well, actually, there's no timer or anything like that, but we just gotta time ourselves to use that pad and get ourselves inside the pots. Watch what happens, watch what happens. Remember we broke apart the top of Gruntilla's hat on that statue? Voila! <laughs> no, it's not! No, I'm not. Well, okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go flop back. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna go flop back up over there. And since that is now completed, there really isn't anything else we can do right in that um, temple type room there just yet. But, you know, keep that in mind for the future, okay? Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna go up and around this way, this set of stairs here, and this should lead to the area that I'm thinking of. Yes, it does. I'm not going to go through that mouth just yet, but uh, I will set this stuff up for the future. If you shoot the spider webs with eggs, you can demolish them. And there's a couple of things to demolish in this room, like this. So, just get these all destroyed ahead of time, and look at that, we got ourselves our first real shortcut. This is how they work. Heck yeah! Alright, let's give it a shot, because why not? Yeah! And... Yep, we're back over here. This is, if you don't remember, this is way back over in the second room, actually the second main room. Yeah, this one right here. So to get up there faster now, rather than having to go up through there and do the whole rigmarole since everything is now 100%ed, we now just go right down through here and flop inside the pots. I said flop inside the pots. I jumped right over it. <laughs> Dang, camera's perspective. Alright, now we got a little more stuff to look at for the future. Oh, now there's bees here, yeah, at the beehives. Uh, they will attack you if you do that. They were like, oh no, you better not! <laughs> but there is a way around them relatively easily. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just wonder wing them away and you've got yourselves a delicious honeycomb treat. And that's the spot that I'm gonna go be going over to next is that icy cave over there but not quite yet I want to go up here and get something else set up yeah there's another note door here yeah there's a bunch of note doors going on around this place <laughs> but don't worry we'll see everything by the time this game is done I assure you now let's get this shortcut awakened this isn't anything that we can use just yet it'll just kind of spit us out so yeah <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, this one's pretty deep. I got a flap flip out of there. Alright, now over here is something that you're going to want to take note of. Yep, Gruntilda is up here on Gruntilda's hat. <laughs> the disgusting Gruntilda has spider pancakes for her breakfast. Well, maybe. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, there's you should be noting down what you see uh, when you go over to Gruntilda here. 
because there's actually three possibilities for each one of these little fun facts here, and they, they're they important near the end of the game, so keep writing these things down for the future. Got it? Good, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to be extra sexy for her future sexier striptease, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so that's all there is to see here, so I'm gonna get down here carefully, hopefully not take damage. There we go. Happy days. You you guys could just have a good, uh, good day on the outside. I'm going on this way, and I'm also gonna show you a little sort of rigmarole here that I can't really do right now, uh, but I can at least show you stuff to collect stuff at least, like there's a bunch of feathers here, uh, actually I should show you from a distance if you don't re recognize where we are, uh, just to go into first person here, yep, it's a whole mural type thing, I don't know why Grunty would have that in her place, in all honesty, but uh, she's got it, and come on now, stop missing, <laughs> stop missing the platform. Uh, over here is the Ecom Bokum. Uh, if you go up, whoa, 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 Ecom Bokum. There we go. And there's nothing else up there. Uh, but there is something over here that we get a little bit of dialogue that we'd like to see here before I miss it again. You know, like this flight pad. <laughs> and we don't get this until World Six, so don't worry about those shoes. As a matter of fact, because of those shoes, I won't be able to 100% World Five right here, right away. Uh, but yeah, if you try and go over there to that flight pad in 12 seconds, just never ever gonna happen. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And the pad will shatter thusly. But you know, you'll have unlimited shots at that, so once you get those shoes, you'll be able to do that. Alright, so... Freeze Easy Peak, World 5, begin! One move to be found here, so be on the lookout. Heck yeah, and it's pretty easy to find, really. <laughs> can I get up here without the- oh, I was gonna say, can I get up here without this? I didn't think so, because this is all ice. Uh, if you didn't realize, I'm actually slip-sliding around here. Watch this, watch this. See, I got a lot of momentum because it's the ice world, and yeah. So anyway, let's go in here first and get get ourselves a little, little backstory of what's going on here. Oh, they're crying. Maybe they're cold. No, they're polar bears. <laughs> hmm. Looking for presents, huh? Hmm. Well, perhaps... Perhaps... Oh, you don't have anything more to say. Well, perhaps their dad is around here somewhere. There's their dad right there. His name is Boggy. And we are going around to find him, I suppose. But I get the feeling that it won't take too long to find him. So let's just hop on down here. Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh, stomach! Shouldn't have ate. Shiny thing. Need help. Well, we can't do anything about him right now at this moment. But, uh, yeah, we can't even slam his belly or anything like that to get it out of him. So, we're gonna have to leave him for later, and oh, oh, oh we're gonna have to go up. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like going right through the middle of the note, and there we go. Alright. And oh, God, these enemies right here. These are Sir Slush, and they throw snowballs, and they are really annoying. Let's just put it that way. Oh! Uh, <laughs> you just gotta sort of kind of try and wiggle your way around whenever you hear them throw the snowball because uh, they throw where you're going and not where you are. It's yeah, they're a pretty clever enemy actually. So yeah, it's, it's a thing that you gotta be looking out for. Is another one. There's five of them around the area too, and that's it's not too fun. <laughs> There's a flight pad up there um, if you want that, but I'm not gonna do that for now. I am going to... Uh, uh, camera, 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 please. Oh, wait, wait, that's right, I heard you, Jinjo. There's a Jinjo behind this house. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget the Jinjos. By the way, this water... I'm just gonna show you right now. Yep, too cold! It's just like the piranha water and the hot sand and all sorts of other hazardous liquids that we've come across since the fourth world. Oh, I thought I could have made that. Ah, well, that's alright. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Well, okay, I'm a little worried, because this world does get pretty difficult. <laughs> Especially with Sir Slush hanging around- Ah! Hanging around here like that. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go around the perimeter here until I come across a scarf. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Oh, new enemy here, Clinker! Yeah, you couldn't tell, probably, but that's an enemy! <laughs> it's an ice cube that splits into two more ice cubes. That's very easily taken care of with the power of your beak. And let me... freaking... <laughs> run into the honeycombs. Alright. Now, I like this pattern right here. Gold for yellow, red for red! Yes! <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go all the way up to the top. And this is one of two trips I'm going to be taking up here. Uh, you'll see what I mean here, because it's just easier to do this first and then come back here uh, when we're done, basically. Uh, you'll see why when I get this taken care of. Uh, I might as well get these notes around here as long as I'm here, too. Alright, that takes care of that. Yes, I'm saving the honeycombs. Oh, and I should also get uh, on top of the snowman's broom here. There is a Jinjo and a couple of gold feathers. So let's not forget about that. Uh, well, actually, maybe I won't have to come up, uh, come up here. T well, no, I wait. I have, will have to come up here twice. So I'm not gonna. Oh, I actually. Mm, eh, I keep second guessing myself here because this is a risky area to be at. Uh, but I am gonna do something risky first, just because it's early on. Uh, first, there's a there's a present up here. We need to find three of these in the world. So yeah, let's l listen to his dialogue there. Yeah, there Guess where those presents go? <laughs> but yeah, but don't don't bother going to take those presents there until you're ready. Okay, over here in this pipe is a jiggy. Yeah, that's a pretty well hidden jiggy, if you ask me. I mean, it's pretty hard to see from all angles, and you wouldn't really think, yeah, this is a good idea to go across there from so high up. But oh yes, you're, you're supposed to do that. Anyway, I forgot that. Oh, I don't need to. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all, um... <laughs> That's why it's a risky area to be at. Ah! You sir slushes and all of your difficulties are the bane of my existence. Anyway, I gotta go back up there. I'm grabbing this. And you better bet your bippy that I'm gonna open up this as well and get a couple honeycombs. <laughs> Alright, now that I came back up here after wasting a bunch of time, I can now do this little side quest. Get on the sled! Woo! Woo! -hoo! Ecom Bogum! <laughs> and that's how it's done! <laughs> all is well. So now he's also got his sled back. I don't know why his sled would be all the way up there, but uh, it was, and now that this this done, I've also started another side quest type thingajigger. And this jiggy can appear in all sorts of places around this place, so... Yeah, I mean, just around this circular area here. Uh, oh, I don't need to collect those. Alright, now I'm gonna go around this away and, uh, hopefully avoid the doom that is our Sir Slush Buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's do a side quest. Well, minigame type thing. These are the Twinklies! They are cute little Christmas lights of happiness! So we gotta stop the Twinkly Munchers from eating them, and this is a pretty easy minigame as long as you defeat the Twinkly Munchers in the way in order. Like you just go over here, then you go over to the next one and slam- oh, that one's getting through. Oh! That one did get through. <laughs> you crunchers, how dare you eat something so cute. How dare you eat something so cute. And don't worry about having slow pacing at the start, um, getting Twinklies into the tree, because it gets faster as- oh shoot, it gets faster as it goes, and uh, then you'll be able to catch up quite easily later on there, and you should have about 10 seconds or so to spare of just messing up. <laughs> if you, if you uh, mess up as bad as I'm doing here. That's okay, just get rid of those Twinkly Munchers in order like this, just let them pass through happily. You should have a grand old time getting into the tree. There we go, see how much faster we're making pace here because more of them are coming out of the box at a faster pace? That is the key, basically, is to get these guys, I should say to keep these guys at bay while we let the Twinklies go through. And there we go, this should be it, because that orange one is going to make it, but just in case I'm going to keep doing this cycle, uh, yeah, the orange one's going to make it. Victory! But we're not done yet. <laughs> not that close, really. <laughs> oh, there's another clinker. 
How's it going there? Yeah, watch out for theirs. Ah! I was gonna say, watch out for them when they split, because they split in random directions. And you just gotta be ready for that, I guess. <laughs> and, and don't go in the water, of course. The eggs may be tempting, but don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, let's get ourselves lined up here. Did I get that? I don't know. I didn't think so. There we go. Now get that crest in. Woo! But we're not still not done yet. We need to go find the flight pad and then fly through the star at the top of that tree three times. And there's a flight pad conveniently right over here. How do you like those apples? I'll be back to that stack of presents in just a second. <laughs> Now, let's carefully get ourselves through- Oh, I'm just going a little low, I don't want to overshoot it. Yeah! Aha! Take that, you dastardly minigame of sorts. I'm a little low again, going up. Yeah! If I do that, if I tap my feather, you know, to use a feather a little bit too early, I'll kind of mess with my momentum and I'll go up above it and that's the trouble and stuff. Yeah! Alright, so that's done. Or is it? No! We're, we, we've seen an area that we haven't seen yet, so... Where the heck is this thing now? Well... There is... Oh, shoot! Cold water. Cold water of doom. Okay. <laughs> There's a little secret area inside this tree right here. With an Ecom Bolcom right behind there. And... Check. I'm gonna start from the top and go down to the bottom here because it's just a little bit faster doing it that way. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go all the way up. And there's clickers going around here as well, so beware of them, I guess, even though they're, you know, world one easy enemies. <laughs> and around the the tree here at different sized layers, because, you know, it's, it's cone-shaped and whatnot, you're gonna find all sorts of goodies here, and I don't really need to collect these, do I? No, not really, but I'm not going to be back in this tree anyway, so I might as well just have fun going in circles here, because why not? <laughs> There's another present there, make sure you don't forget the present, because we're still not done with that side quest just yet, and uh, it sure feels like there's a lot of notes here. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> oh, oh, you almost took it from that guy, but I'm okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, so comfy. So comfy. Alright. Um... Um... Um, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Actually? Watch us, watch us. I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part after I do the screen transition! <laughs>